Hey guys, welcome to the next Smoke and Flame quick tip. Now, this for this quick tip, it's going to be uh, actually a tutorial request, and it's actually on frequency separation inside of uh, Smoke and Flame. Now, the frequency separation uh, is handled and behaves differently, and is a very popular technique in Photoshop for uh, beauty working skin cleanup. Um, so the way I'm going to be showing it isn't necessarily uh, to a T the way that Photoshop would handle it, but it's a workaround I've found that um, produces similar similar results. So for this example, I'm going to be using Flame Assist, um, but this will apply to Smoke and Flame. And uh, for this example as well, unfortunately, uh, I'm using myself as a model with bad complexion, which happens to be the case. So what we're going to do is we're just going to grab this clip and just go effects and create batch effects. Now, the first thing we want to do is just grab in a denoise. I'm just going to press D and just grab him out and shift alt him and look at the result. Now, for this, um, all I want to do is, all I'm going to do, and again, you can use um, as many different approaches to skin smoothing you'd usually do, but all I care about is just doing a pretty high medium filter. So I'm just going to put this up to like 12 and give this a second to update. And the first thing you'll see is it's smoothed out most of these tones uh, to an extent. Um, I can even put it up a little bit further. I'll put it up to maybe 15. So the other thing too is this technique, um, besides uh, being able to paint and clean up uh, just just uh, on the texture once we get this going, um, the cool thing about this technique is uh, depending on your denoise, you can uh, kind of just uh, balance out and even out the skin tones overall. Um, so for this example, if I go F1, F4, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be happy with that result. Um, I'm just going to swipe to the left now. And the next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to press M and pull out a mono and pipe that into the front as well. Now, if I look at the result of mono, there's obviously we're looking at the luminance by default. Um, but what I'm interested in this is the Y channel. So if I switch to Y, you see there's actually zero difference in this case between the Y and the luminance. Um, another channel which is worth playing around with this technique is lightness. It gives slightly different results. Um, but for this, I'm going to switch it to Y, and I'm just going to swipe to the left. So for this to work, I'm just going to go to C and just grab a comp. And what I'm going to do is just uh, Shift-Alt, and I'm going to make the denoise, my blurred output, the front, and then go to the input 2 and make that my, uh, my back input. So if I look at the result of this, obviously nothing's changed, but I'm going to change my blend type from, photo from Flame to Photoshop, and then change it from Normal to Color. And if I go into Alt-2, and just quickly toggle between um, and select each of these. You see we are getting a slight color variation if I just select the input and the output using the color. But uh, what we're going to get, um, and again, uh, from my experiments with this technique, I can't get it exactly the same because obviously we are blurring, but if you wanted, uh, if you were very, very uh, set on where skin tones had to be or the image had to be and it was already pre-colored, then you could just kind of mask bits in to fill this in. So. The, the, the great thing about this technique, which is what we're about to get to, is if I swipe to the left um, and we look at the mono result, um, this is where we can just pay attention um, when we're doing cleanup and beauty um, and just getting rid of stuff uh, without being distracted when we paint by all the color gradations and all the, uh, the light to dark areas. Um, it's just a, an easier way to clean up. So if I just press P and pull out a paint and put it right after the mono, and just look at the result. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to go to Recursive Clone and hold down Q and then just press Control. And I'm just using smoke shortcuts for this. And I'm just going to start cleaning up a little, just piping away at the imperfections. And you'll see it's, it's a lot easier when you're not distracted by the color. You don't have to worry about blends as much. Obviously, you have to worry about luminance shifts. Um, but yeah, this is, um, this is a technique that's used a lot in uh, beauty and cleanup in uh, stills. and uh, you know, this will uh, help out too in uh, in your day to day, just in uh, cleanup. Even though it's on video now as well, so I'm just scrubbing through here. Obviously, that's that's way too far, but I'm just gonna pull up here, and I'm gonna try and just paint paint a definitive line too where the light should be, and then I'm just gonna try and smooth this off, just somewhere here. Obviously, that's too far still, so I'm just gonna tweak it along and just pull down. And the cool thing that you'll see with this technique is because we're just dealing with the luminance, if I go to Alt 2 and then just uh, zoom this up a little bit more and then look at the result and I toggle between, you see we don't have to pay attention to all the little gradations and um, 
for a cleanup, uh, this is actually really, really good, especially for beauty stuff because you, you're literally just worried about painting the, the luminance channels. Now, again, this, this technique's been around for a while and um, uh, I hope from uh, this little tip you guys see its power and um, I hope this is uh, useful for you guys. So that's it for this uh, quick tip, guys. Stay tuned for more.